The Akosombo Dam, a monumental engineering feat, is located on the Volta River in southeastern Ghana. Its origins trace back to the early 20th century, when the idea of harnessing the Volta River's immense energy potential was first conceived. The visionary behind this idea was geologist Albert Ernest Kitson, who, as early as 1915, recognized the potential of the Volta River for hydroelectric power generation. However, it wasn't until after World War II that the concept began to take a more defined shape. The post-war years marked a period of rapid industrialization globally and newly independent Ghana, under the leadership of President Kwame Nkrumah, sought to establish itself as an industrial powerhouse in West Africa. Central to this vision was the development of the Akosombo Dam, which was seen not only as a source of much-needed electrical power, but also as a symbol of the nation's capacity to undertake ambitious infrastructure projects. By the late 1950s, plans had evolved significantly, with the project gaining international attention. Construction of the dam began in 1961 and was completed in 1965, a full month ahead of schedule, a testament to the engineering prowess and the collaborative efforts of all involved. The project was a massive undertaking both in terms of scale and cost. Funded primarily by the World Bank, the United States and the United Kingdom, the total cost at the time was approximately £130 million, equivalent to about $258 million or $2.1 billion in today's terms. The dam itself is a rock-fill embankment structure measuring 660 meters in length and 114 meters in height. It required the excavation of massive amounts of quartzite and other materials, which were then compacted to form the dam. The engineering firm Impregilo, an Italian company that had recently completed the Cariba Dam on the Zambezi River, was awarded the contract to build the Akosombo Dam. Despite significant challenges, including a severe flood in 1963 that set the project back by three months, the construction was completed with remarkable efficiency. One of the most striking aspects of the construction was the creation of Lake Volta, the world's largest artificial lake by surface area, covering approximately 8,502 square kilometers. The lake, which holds 148 cubic kilometers of water, was formed by flooding the Volta River Basin upstream of the dam. This massive reservoir required the relocation of about 80,000 people from 700 villages, making it one of the largest resettlement programs of its kind at the time. The primary purpose of the Akosombo Dam was to generate hydroelectric power to support Ghana's burgeoning industrial sector, particularly the aluminum industry. The dam's power plant was originally equipped with six Francis turbines, each capable of generating 170 megawatts for a total installed capacity of 1,020 megawatts. This capacity was further enhanced through retrofitting in 2006, ensuring that the dam could meet the growing electricity demands of Ghana and its neighboring countries, Togo and Benin. The creation of the Akosombo Dam was a pivotal moment in Ghana's economic development. It provided the power needed to operate the Volta Aluminum Company, or Valco, which played a critical role in the country's industrial strategy. Valco was established in partnership with the US-based Kaiser Aluminum, and the dam's power output was initially split, with 80% allocated to Valco and the remaining 20% serving the domestic market. Over time, as Ghana's industrial and domestic power needs grew, more of the dam's output was redirected to meet these demands. Beyond powering the aluminum industry, the dam has had a broad economic impact. It has provided electricity for urban and rural areas alike, spurring economic growth and improving the quality of life for millions of people. The dam also facilitated the development of lake transportation, fishing and tourism, which have become important components of the local economy. However, the economic benefits of the dam have been accompanied by significant challenges. The flooding that created Lake Volta submerged 
large areas of fertile agricultural land, leading to a decline in food production and necessitating the use of fertilizers for farming along the lake's shores. This was a downside of the dam becoming a conversation by some natives even till today. The construction of the Akosombo Dam, while initially presenting challenges, has also paved the way for numerous positive environmental and social transformations. The creation of Lake Volta, the world's largest artificial lake by surface area, has become a significant asset to Ghana, offering a myriad of opportunities for both environmental conservation and socio-economic development. One of the most remarkable outcomes of the dam's construction has been the transformation of Lake Volta into a thriving hub of economic activity. The vast expanse of water has created new opportunities for fishing, which has become a major industry in the region. The lake supports a flourishing fishery that provides employment and a stable source of income for thousands of Ghanaians. Fishing communities around Lake Volta have not only managed to rebuild their livelihoods but have also seen an improvement in their standard of living due to the steady income generated by this industry. Moreover, the establishment of the lake has fostered the development of aquaculture, which has been instrumental in meeting the growing demand for fish both domestically and internationally. This industry has helped to alleviate pressure on wild fish stocks, contributing to more sustainable fishing practices in the region. The success of aquaculture around Lake Volta serves as a model for other regions, looking to balance economic development Development with environmental conservation. The dam has also significantly boosted agriculture in the surrounding areas. The irrigation potential provided by Lake Volta has enabled the cultivation of crops in previously arid regions, transforming them into productive agricultural lands. This has not only increased food security, but has also allowed for the cultivation of cash crops, which contribute to the local and national economy. Farmers in the region have benefited from increased access to water, enabling them to diversify their crops and improve yields. The introduction of modern farming techniques, supported by the consistent water supply from the lake, has further enhanced agricultural productivity. On a broader environmental scale, Lake Volta has become a vital habitat for a wide range of wildlife. The lake and its surrounding wetlands support diverse ecosystems, providing sanctuary for numerous species of birds, fish, and other aquatic life. This biodiversity has made the lake a focal point for conservation efforts, with various initiatives aimed at protecting the unique flora and fauna of the region. The conservation areas around Lake Volta have also become popular destinations for ecotourism, drawing visitors from around the world and contributing to the local economy. Socially, the resettlement villages established during the dam's construction have evolved into vibrant communities. While the initial transition was challenging, many of these communities have developed strong social cohesion and resilience. Over time, infrastructure in these areas has improved significantly, with better access to education, healthcare, and other essential services. The presence of Lake Volta has also spurred the development of new infrastructure, including roads, schools, and healthcare facilities, which have greatly enhanced the quality of life for residents. In addition, the dam has has played a critical role in promoting regional cooperation and energy security. By supplying electricity to neighboring countries like Togo and Benin, the Akosombo Dam has fostered closer ties between these nations and Ghana. This collaboration has been vital in maintaining regional stability and ensuring a reliable supply of electricity across West Africa. The dam's ability to meet the growing energy demands of the region underscores its importance as a cornerstone of economic development and integration in West Africa. The Akosombo Dam has also sparked innovation and adaptation in response to environmental challenges. Efforts to manage and mitigate the impacts of climate variability, such as fluctuating water levels, have led to the development of advanced water management practices and infrastructure improvements. These adaptations have not only ensured the continued operation of the dam, but have also enhanced its resilience to future environmental changes. 
The experience gained from managing Lake Volta and the Akosombo Dam has positioned Ghana as a leader in sustainable water management, with lessons that are being shared with other nations facing similar challenges. In conclusion, the Akosombo Dam stands as a testament to the positive transformations that can arise from large-scale infrastructure projects. While the initial challenges were significant, the long-term benefits of the dam, ranging from economic growth and environmental conservation to social development and regional cooperation are undeniable. The Akosombo Dam is not only a marvel of engineering but also a beacon of how human ingenuity can create opportunities for sustainable development and environmental stewardship. As Ghana continues to grow and evolve, the lessons learned from the Akosombo Dam will continue to guide the nation towards a future of prosperity and resilience. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update.